Hi, welcome again. Again, of course, because we've been on stuff like this like loads of times. We have, you're so, right. So, again, this is Little Bits. Good. And today, we're going to be doing Do Dices. Excellent. Okay, we're going to have a game, are we? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, what's Do Dice? It's a game where you have to throw the dice if you get this and do a sum like this. So this is just an example. You've got three d dudes, like dinosaur things, whatever they are. They're like monsters, aren't yeah. they? Let's see if I can get it a bit. Oh, we have to do that. So, and we've got this. Excellent. And we're going to shake it and then... Put it into a sum. So nine add seven, or oh. seven add nine. Seven add nine. Answer is still going to be correct. That's correct because it doesn't matter which way around the numbers are, does it? Yeah. Okay. Wait, what am I adding? Oh yeah. <laughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen. Yes. So nine plus seven. Sixteen. I'm going to go with that's correct, because Mummy hasn't got her brain on. So what happens if you get a correct one? Um, if you get it correct, you have to, you win one of these. And the one, the person with the most of these, or with all of them, wins the game. Excellent. And they keep going on and on and on and on and on. And you can keep playing the winners. So uh, every different two people have a go. Oh, I've got the... Ah! And if you get two hours straight in a row, um, you have to miss both of those boats. Go right. So, so I have to try and throw again, and if I get an R again... It's my go. Then it's your go, and I don't get any dude because I haven't had a chance to do the sum. Is that right? Yes. Aha! So, I have a multiply. You mean um, times? Or times, um, as it is otherwise known. Um, this is level two we're playing, which it says is suitable for a nine years old, um, but I would just go with whatever your um, capability is. Um, your child I'm is. seven and a... Uh... Yep, so seven times 11 for mummy is 77. Now, because Erin's just learning her times, we're going to use the times table tray, which I'm sure I know all, all of this. my s my 11 times tables. So seven Up times 11? 132. On the floor. Never mind. So it's seven times eleven. I think is seventy-seven. It is correct. Excellent. So I, I win. A d All right. That tells me. Um. So I win a do dice. So that's wicked. So you'll go. Try again. Excellent. So you have eight. Plus eight. That's easy for me. Okay. But it's also very good practice, especially seeing as she's got her test, national test coming up that um, she'll be in London for when they're happening, but we'll see about whether um, she has to do them. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. Sixteen. Yes, well done. Yes, I win. So, I'm if you wanted to have a really short game, then that is all you need to do. I'm it's a little bit of maths practice. I've got one, she's got two, so she wins. Or, i got another idea. If you get two bags, yep. you could get more of these and play a longer game, but you don't need the other three of these. Or, you could buy the level one and the level two, because the level one has the lower numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and and a 10, and the level 2 has 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, something like that. I don't know if I've got that quite like, right. Like, um, the cupcake ones would be the lowest. Well, the cupcake ones and the do dice are the same. So you get level 1 and level 2, but you just get different ones. So you can get cupcakes. So what we've had a few people do is buy them, have level 1 and level 2, and then get all the dices mixed together so you can do a few different sums with them. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah? Okay, so there's quite a lot of possibilities for I this like game. I like the add one. I really like the add and the times. Excellent. I've got my times table tray. If you 
get a times table shape and the do dices. You can work out your answers up to your 12 times tables. And it, when you're doing like maths or stuff or doing do dices, you can just check your answers. You like this, don't you? It's one of your favourite. We, we, yeah. we, this is one of our best it, sellers, but she, she mm. loves it. But with the do dice, what we're going to do is we're going to put an offer on for um, level one and level two as a pack. So either you've got the dino do dice which is for the smaller children because it's got one number and then it's got the dots on it so they can count the dots instead of seeing the number because obviously they'll learn to count so that's things like instead of them. level one well that's pre level one because level one so not level one level two so so the cupcake one is like um as level plus one. level one yeah okay so level um, one, no. level two, um, we'll put them together in a set so it'll be cheaper to buy both together just in case you want a bit more variation on the numbers. But this is a good one, isn't it? We like what this. does cheaper mean? Cheaper means that it is less expensive. Uh, what does so expensive mean? Less <laughs> money. So oh. instead of buying one set of do dice for six seventy nine, and then getting another set for the same price, which would then be over 13 pounds i think um we'll do it for a bit less so they can buy two instead of buying two for a bit cheaper than buying them two separately does that make sense oh mm -hmm. right so i think we're going to sign off because you can see it's bedtime um so i'm not tired no she's never tired so you're going to say good night and we'll be back on because we've got a competition to announce in a couple of days which you can do so you're going to say good night Okay. What's the competition for? Oh, I'm not telling you. It's a surprise. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's a surprise. But you can announce it for us in, in a couple of days, yeah? I always announce it. All right, okay. Well, I'm going to say goodnight. You're going to say goodnight a little bit? Night-night.